one here, which is XRP, a really great stunner. This is just uh, an amazing coin. If this plays out, there's some really big money to be made here. This blue algorithm line is what we are expecting is that this coin is going to move up till about year, till year about 23 December. So from now for about 30 days, we look at this pattern here and it, it could be earlier as well. Remember that can squeeze and the time can contract. But more important is that we look at here, I'm in the 12 hour, we look at the, the pattern here. We believe that it is going to just pull back slightly now. Remember what I said about two days ago when we had this, I said for from a scalp trading perspective, this becomes a really good buy. Because what you want to do, you want to buy here on that pullback. And then you ride it upwards here till there. And if you can go and draw the same chart perhaps with these target points, let me just bring them up here. There's a target point. Uh, this target point, I'm just going to put the figures in a little bit more accurate. Okay, so if you can ride this wave upwards here, upwards here, we believe that this could easily make about 27% there. But if you if you narrow it down and say, listen, if you are in the range of 10 to 15%, you can make some really good money there. Then you're out of the market, it will come down. Another opportunity to buy is there, and you ride that wave up. Now, obviously, if you do scalp trading, you can actually sell at different intervals here. The main point here, how this will move, is basically B, C, something like this. Okay, if you look at that. So you can make some money there, pull back, make some money here in another uptrend. And then this one as well, you can see here, this comes down one, two, three, four, five, five legs down. And uh, so you can ride that as well. The last opportunity here to make money, uh, if this plays out now, of, of course, and we believe it will, is maybe that trend upwards. Yeah, but at different intervals here from a scalp trading perspective, even day trading, you can make some really good money. I'm going to show you another one that we think could be very good. This one here, which is QTIM. Have a look at QTIM. If we now start turning upwards here, we may pull down slightly, just slightly. But if this starts moving upwards here, this whole move here is actually a very big move up to there. You can make multiple 10% gains here. And if you hold it maybe a little bit longer as well, you can probably make about 50% by just holding this uh, specific um, coin here. See, there it is. That's about 50. If you make bring it back in the middle, you can make about 40, 45%. This is what we need to do with these kind of coins. We need to watch for those opportunities. So in regards to Bitcoin that I showed this morning, actually, or yesterday, your time, is we showed that Bitcoin had a bit of a, a, a turn down and we will soon post new charts out probably tomorrow. But for Bitcoin, but we're going to show you where Bitcoin is going to drop into and where the move upwards will also go. So, Wendy, from my perspective, those are just two coins. I believe that can do really well. Over to you. Yeah, thank you, everybody, for coming to the Huddle Knots um, market update. And uh, thank you, Marius, for coming and, and sharing with us a couple of coins again today. He's going to do it again in a couple of days for us. And uh, it's just a privilege to have him here with the couple of the updates. So now what I want to share with you, for those of you, uh, for those of you who don't know what we do or what scalp trading is, most of you should have an idea, but there are some new people on here. But what we're doing is we're looking at these top coins today. And right now at this particular time, we've got an incredible scalp trading opportunity. So you will see me in the den this evening. Uh, the den is a telegram group of traders where we are all trading for profit. And when coins are up over 10%, and as you can see over here on my screen, you have a full list of them that are over 10%. That is great scalp trading time. So what we're looking at now is the top one right now that has been running this particular week is Strax. And so this is what we're looking at now um, as far as Strax being, as far as Strax being on the downhill side, we're looking at the buy-in opportunities right now. And we teach you how to find those 
and what, what we're looking at at the moment. But Sushi has been running all this week too. So I'm going to say that those are the top two. YFI is a DeFi coin. It's actually running as well. Right now, we're all looking for buy-in opportunities. So you want to be in the den. You want to be looking for these opportunities as we teach you. But what I want to show you here is this is a recent trade that I made. This is an example of what you can do in scalp trading very easily. Uh, this is what I'm trying to teach everybody to do anyway. I scalp trade, obviously, with a little bit bigger money, but I'm experienced and I've been doing this for many years. And But you will get there. It's all about the percentage gains, not how much money that you actually have to trade with. But on this particular one, I just did this a couple days ago, as you can see on November 22nd. But I did it in order to explain what scalp trading was. So this scalp trade took me 22 minutes. We profit very, very quickly. I bought in and uh, at 1682 and I sold out uh, in 22 minutes. The price was then 2241 and my profit was $559. I made 33% gains in 22 minutes. So you can see how easy this happens. You can see where we are looking at and we're looking at these minute runs. This is on the minute chart. And this is the 22 minutes that I scalp traded and what a coin can do and the type of profits that you can make. So a lot of people ask with huddle knots, can you really make 8% gains on coins? You can do that in a day. You can do that in one single coin. It just depends on if the coins are cooperating and it depends on the practice that you put in on scalp trading. So hopefully that gives you a really good idea of scalp trading and what we're trying to accomplish and what we teach. We teach how to do this on the minute charts, fast and furious, but we also have other ways that we scalp trade. So we do it on longer time frames, and we teach something called coin snuggling. And so we just had a coin snuggling uh, that's in addition to the, the course. It's inclusive. We actually teach that after the course is over with while you're in our, uh, our area and continue to be trained. The coin that you had just behind that, and it's actually good that you post this out where you say where you buy and you sold. So now I personally know how much profit you actually make. That's, <laughs> oh. that's good for me to know. The, so the, pres when, the when presents, are, the presents out, are getting bigger. Did, <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when did you actually post that out? Because you, two days ago you asked me for some money to go do some shopping. So, uh, okay. I'm, okay. I'm a very clever, wise person. <laughs> So when you are there in, let's say, Binance, you've got the option there to click on Trading View or Original. This is a mistake that many people do. See there, Original, and then Trading View. But if you click on Trading View, there's a button there on the side there that where you can actually make it large as well. You can make the whole screen large. See there, guys, if you click on that. But Wendy, why? You, I just heard you say that this is a buying opportunity. Why would anybody want to buy you on the bottom? <laughs> so that we can ride it up to the top. Yeah, but what, what indicator are you looking at? Come on, give us a bone. Okay, so this right here, it, I'm looking at the Bollinger. Okay, so for a lot of people who are scalp trading, what they're looking at is here, you're looking at the retracement. You can see that the candles are coming off of the Bollinger here and the Bollinger is dropping. All of these lines are actually dropping, the moving average lines. But as these are starting to come in, you're losing some momentum. And we do look at the other indicators that I don't have on here, but we're actually looking at the MACD and we're looking at the RSI at the same time. The volume is very low on this coin, but this area right here, you're hitting up against a support level. And a lot of people would think about buying right now when you start seeing spinning tops and dojis coming in, you will think that this coin is turning and coming in. But what we do teach you is that in this particular coin, we're in a death cross right here. And there's no way that you're, you're finished right here until the Bollinger curves. While this may look like a buying opportunity, on our particular tool that we, we share with you on TradingView, since I'm in Binance right now, we're not in TradingView, we have buy sell tags. And when a buy tag comes in, you'll know when to buy. It actually is a help for you in our Gambit's Roll Flush. But basically, because the Bollinger is open here, this has the potential and this will drop further. So this is not your buy-in price right here. It is going to go down further. And this is what we train you to look at. We, we train your eyes not to buy in just because you think this is the low. You need to know that the Bollinger has to close and these lines have to turn around. So that's just some one of the things I that see, we actually I see. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, 
Okay, that's a really good explanation there. Okay, so did you want to take a question or two, Wendy? Sure. The there it goes. Audience here. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. That's on a minute and yeah. how it's dropping and now yeah. it's just going lower, lower. But the lower that yes. gets, the better the opportunity becomes to get back into it. Absolutely. We want to, we want to ride it back up to the top and gain our profits back. Okay. But we want to wait till we reach the absolute bottom. Yeah, exactly. And uh, you will know when it's the absolute bottom when we have the indicators that, that you get. What does the support channel look like? If people were to get into Oral Knots, what does the channel look like? So what's the meaning of all these things on the right hand side, all those? Are they indicators or one says laugh, laugh <laughs> LOL? Are they, <laughs> nailed it. No, those are, those, those are the those best are, indicators. Are they indicators, we, Wendy? We can see your gift. <laughs> You can see all my funny things that I put in there. But no, we, we actually advertise when people like you, guest speakers, come on. Uh, we let people know. But basically, if we go back here, uh, we will show you that we're actually scalp trading. Uh, right now, we were giving some information. We post uh, information that you might not have otherwise that Ethereum Classic uh, hard fork is coming. Uh, we post information on the most mentioned cryptos on Twitter, but basically you can see people trading in here. Uh, some people are riding waves right now. Um, let's get through some of the banter. Yes, we do have a lot of banter in here, but you can see when I joined earlier that I'm in band, I was riding it in profit. Uh, it was, uh, I was, I mentioned that it was a good coin to be scalping today. I, I mentioned when I got out of band, I was getting in for a lower price, watch the buy tag on the Gambit's Royal Flush and Trading View, and Sushi was up and running. So these are the some of the things, and you'll see that we, we've got about 15 trainers, and they all have badges like mine. And um, they, when they are on, they're there to support you and answer questions. That's me working today. <laughs> And these are just some people. Uh, Sabby is our coin spotter. She was in sand. Um, she was watching it on a five minute. We just give the helpful tips. Jennifer was in there. Robert Wood was in there. Um, there was a signal on a golden cross on link. Um, so he's asking questions. We've got people from all over the world in here. These are USA people, um, different time zones and so forth. Okay. So if you were to get into Oral Knots, what kind of money do you really need to start trading? Let's say if I've only got $500, is this worth it for me? Or can you take up to 10, 20,000? What is the range of people that get into Oral Knots? Who will benefit from this? You can get in and start trading with as little as $12 trades. So you don't have to have a lot of money. We have um, people who are scalp trading actually with money that they need for food and, and doing well at it. We had one lady who all she had was 120 something dollars in her portfolio, and she turned that into 900 in a matter of about six weeks scalp trading, and she was doing $12 trades. So you don't have to have large money to do this. Of course, if you have money, um, you're going to make more money. It's just, you know, if you have $100 and you make a 10% trade, um, you know, a gain on on $100, you're going to make $10. And if you have $1,000, you're going to make $100 on the same trade. So you have to be seasoned and comfortable with scalp trading with whatever amount you, you do. But when you're scalp trading bigger money, you need to know the proper way to get out of the coin. Absolutely. Okay, so let's see if there's a question from the audience here, perhaps. I think most people here are just uh, current members, but let's see if there's any questions. Um, Morris, I would like to know, when do we switch from USDT to BTC in the downtrend? Or are we still up on USDT? So in an uptrend, we make dollar value. You can't increase your cryptos in an uptrend. But in a downtrend, you make hmm. cryptocurrency value. So we ride the market up as high as what we can. And we believe looking at algorithm data, Myself, Jack, Alex from Trend Signals, we looked at this and uh, Wendy, so we believe that year round about, it looks to us about 5, 10, 15 December. We don't have exact date, but we will come back in the reports and give you a date there. At that point, we are going to hit the top and the entire market, in our opinion, is, go is expected then to start turning downwards. Now, remember at that point, we have to be very careful here. It's the first time in the history that Bitcoin is coming to a point where it's forking as per se. 
we believe there's a small probability that we can break out and it becomes a very big bull market. But more likely, more likely is that Bitcoin is going to drop and the market is going to turn downwards. And we can go down for a month or two, far downwards. At that point, we want to be out of the market. But in Ardle Knots, you will still be able to trade. There will always be coins that are rising and dropping, rising mm. and dropping. I was stunned when Wendy actually showed me here, while Bitcoin dropped yesterday and the day before, that you guys were still doing scalp trading and making money. With certain coins were just rocking upwards. That was really amazing. So I hope that answers the question, uh, Marthy. Yes, and we, all, we also have the, the up and down coins. So as soon as the market starts turning, we, we just play the Bitcoin down or the link down and you still gain your dollars. Um, it's just times three, it's margin times three. But in a downtrend, you're gonna, you know that the trend is down. So you, you're not going to get stuck. As exactly. soon as you give us the heads up for that the downtrend has started, you're going to have your ups and downs, um, but you, you, you're going to ride that down all the way and make profit. And Teresa, Absolutely. look at this one, for example. This is one that we believe can, where we can still make a bit of money in the downtrend as well. So guys, what we are referring there is like on Binance, you get Ethereum up, link up or link down. I'm not sure if there's an XLM or a Stellar up or down. We can have a look at that. Yeah, but that will be is. really okay. easy, yeah. easy one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, then I'll check? actually wait till it hits the top there and then hit if you, uh, XLM down. Because in the down market, you make nah. money. No, nah, there's not. Oh, is uh -huh. there not? Okay. No. Nah. Sorry. Yeah. It's XRP down. XRP, yes. XRP is there down XRP? and XRP. Yeah, and an XRP up. So you can ride okay. that XRP, that that breakout there, you can ride it on an XRP up and then it's times three. So that's going to be yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. But guys, be careful with that. Uh, only when you see a confirmed break, like for example, we expect a bit of a downwards move here now and it will turn around really quickly. I, I don't even buy these, but sculpt trading is different. But I believe when it comes down the second time here, and then I'm waiting to see if it does that, you know, the up and then a pullback. And I normally buy on that pullback because then I have confirmation that we went up, we went down, we went there, 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 enough confirmation and I ride that wave. That is what I like mm -hmm. to do. And then I'm out and I'm happy if I only make 30% done, does it, you know? So uh, just be very careful. And then if this plays out, you can easily then go down to XRP down. Because this is going to take yes. a bit of time. It's going to come down. and uh, But XRP is probably not the best one really for down. Stick with Oral Knots. You'll get those answers in the channel. Thank you, Henry, for that question. You can raise the flag and then Maurice switches <laughs> it and you the flag down and then you switch on. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> We'll work it out. But thank you um, all for coming. And hopefully you got some information from this market update. And we appreciate everything that you guys are doing in the den uh, the, as trainers, uh, helping out everybody so well. We've gotten lots and lots of compliments on you guys. So uh, come join us in the den. I'll be in there later here shortly. And I <laughs> coins are up. So I'm definitely going to be trading this evening. So hopefully we'll see you in the den. And hopefully you'll come in Hoddle Knots if you're not already there and come back to the den and join us. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you, Teresa. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Goodbye. everybody. Good to see you. Bye-bye.